Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Lila Ibrahim. It's such an honor to speak with you. I'd like to especially thank the faculty and staff of Purdue's College of Engineering, both for their recognition today and for the critical role they've played and continue to play in my personal and career development. Purdue Engineering has been a big part of my life from a young age. I grew up in West Lafayette, and I had the chance to explore my budding interest in Purdue through the university's kindergarten through 12th grade youth program, which is known as Super Saturday. As early as elementary school, Purdue campus became a familiar and exciting place. By junior high, Purdue represented excellence in the fields that interested me most, particularly engineering, math, and science. Purdue was also a place where I saw that students of all backgrounds could reach the very highest levels in their fields and in their potential. As a first-generation American and as a woman entering a male-dominated profession, I sensed that this community would welcome me and give me the support and opportunities I needed to succeed. And looking back now, I can see I was absolutely right. First, the women in engineering program at Purdue became a source of camaraderie, of support and of encouragement. I also joined Phi Sigma Rho, a social sorority for women engineers, which provided mentorship and inspiration as did my involvement in the Society of Women Engineers. Then there was the Women in Engineering seminar classes, which gave me a peek into how women were changing the world through their work in industry. So while there weren't many women in my specific field of electrical engineering, I found this broader community, this group of women in engineering to be engaging. And I formed many lasting friendships that continue to serve me to this day. One of the best things about being a Purdue student was the chance to apply what I was learning at school into the real world. For me, that opportunity came through Purdue's engineering co-op program. I started my first co-op as a sophomore, and it was at a little known company at the time called Intel. So this was back in 1990 when personal computers were uncommon and obscure. In fact, let me tell you this story. When I started Purdue, I remember vividly this conversation with my parents and I asked them, can I do a Purdue University engineering degree without touching a computer? Because I was a little bit intimidated of computers at this device at that time. My parents calmed me down and encouraged me to keep an open mind and to embrace the opportunity to learn. Little did I know I'd actually be working at the company that was renowned for building the brains of the computer, Intel. Putting my engineering knowledge into practice during those co-op sessions gave me a lot of confidence in computers and in engineering. I learned how to code in assembly language. I worked on what would become known as the Pentium processor, Pentium microprocessor, and I was able to contribute to a big project in a short amount of time. I love being able to have an impact with my engineering background while also benefiting from the experience of working in emerging technology company in Silicon Valley and also learning more about engineering. During my time at Purdue, I completed four co-op sessions at, per, at, at Intel, each one on a different project. And one of the things that happened is I realized Intel didn't have a formal way of connecting interns and co-ops. So I took the initiative to create Intel's co-op and engineering newsletter. Now, at the time, it was merely a problem that needed to be solved, an opportunity to create a community. Looking back, I realized how awesome it was that I pioneered this group and the communications on top of my technical assignments. And I realized that my initiative was very much inspired by my experiences at Purdue. I had grown to expect community and support based off of Purdue's role modeling. Working at Intel in those early days set me on a pioneering path. I joined the company full time after graduation. I was one of only four women out of a group of about 200 people globally doing the specific technical role with customers. And just a few years later, in my 20s, I was living in Japan and representing the PC industry in critical work on DVD standards. I'm grateful to Purdue and the co-op program for putting me in a position to seize these opportunities and to pave a new path for a new generation of engineers and women engineers. And I'm grateful for all the opportunities that I had during my 18 years at Intel. From starting up Intel's premier developer program while based in Hong Kong, to leading the education platform group, to serving as chief of staff to CEO and chairman. 
Dr. Craig Barrett. I realize now that I had all of these opportunities based off the real world experience that I gained while I was at Purdue. My Purdue education also shaped my approach to solving complex problems. I learned to get to the root of a problem by asking why, before what and how. I learned to work as part of an interdisciplinary team, combining ideas from many different fields and perspectives to find creative solutions and turn big ideas into practical roadmap just to get things done. And I learned the importance of putting people first and looking at problems and solutions through the lens of their impact on individuals, communities, and society. This approach has been invaluable at every stage of my career. It's helped me adapt and excel when I transitioned out of Intel to a leadership role in venture capital. It allowed me to bring a creative strategic approach to growing the education technology startup Coursera as their first outside executive hire when the company was barely 40 employees. And now I rely on my foundation and background daily in leading a global interdisciplinary organization at DeepMind. Maybe the most important thing I gained at Purdue was a strong commitment to servant leadership and to the Midwestern values of hard work, humility, kindness, fairness, and helping others. Purdue was the first place where I struggled academically and in a different environment that might have permanently affected my confidence or my ability to be successful. But thanks to the Purdue community, I learned to be humble, to ask for help, and to truly appreciate generous support when I received it. So many people reached out along the way to offer guidance and mentorship, Midwest values, often before I knew I needed it. And because of that, I became driven to pay it forward by helping others in their journeys. These values have undoubtedly made me a better business leader. They've also played a big role in my decision to found a nonprofit, Team for Tech, after an amazing experience helping to set up a computer lab at the orphanage where my father was raised. Team for Tech partners with corporations, predominantly technology corporations, to bring education technology and related teacher training into some of the world's neediest schools. Over the past seven years, we've impacted more than 80,000 students in 19 countries with a goal of 100,000 by the end of this year. This is a huge accomplishment and one that I'm incredibly proud of. And I believe it represents the very best of what we can do when we take a people first approach to technology and engineering and layer in a global mindset. Speaking of a global mindset, I think Purdue also played an important role in the development even the foundation of my global mindset. One of my favorite memories from the, my days at, in West Lafayette is of having students and faculty and staff over to my parents' house, just a few miles from campus. My dad's a retired engineer uh, locally in West Lafayette and he inspired me on this career path. My mom is also retired from Purdue School of Agriculture and she was very involved in the International Student Center she was an incredible leader who I and many other students looked up to. Both of my parents believed in opening our home to as many students, international students and engineering friends as possible. We'd often get together and we'd share meals and we'd talk about everything from our latest assignments to our hopes and our plans for the future. Those conversations always left me energized and inspired. They connected me to new ideas and to a global community that somehow felt as warm and as accessible as it did innovative and groundbreaking. They boosted my confidence and taught me the importance of lifelong learning and left me with aspiration to make a positive impact in the world. This brings me to the past year. Whew, 2020 was tough. We'll probably all remember it as one of the most complex and challenging years of our life. But I think we'll also remember it as a year that showed us the power of technology, of engineering, and of community. While I can't be on campus now, I'm thankful for the generations of engineers, the generations of innovators who enabled us to connect virtually, right here, right now. Now that said, I also can't wait to gather with the Purdue community in 2021 on campus in West Lafayette. Thank you once again for all your support and for honoring me with this award and my very best for a happy, safe and healthy new year. Thank you.